lots of life. She's got lots of life. Happy, very happy little girl. She always wants to be on the go. She likes to be on the four wheeler with her dad. Anything that has wheels on it, she, she's ready to roll. It's too small for me. <laughs> yeah. But it's just right for her. I mean, because she, she can sit right between my legs and stuff. She can prop her feet up on the fenders. She's a joy to be around. She's funny. She's, you know, she laughs. She, she definitely gets a lot of loving, and she's a daddy's girl. Big time. Yeah, she's got me really wrapped around her finger. I will, I will spoil that little girl. I will, I will spoil her. Oh, what a big girl. Oh. The first day I learned Reagan was sick was probably about two days after we took her home. I was at my mom's and uh, I get a phone call. Uh, it's Children's Hospital. At the hospital stuff they done uh, several tests and she come back as positive for this disease and it called Crab A. Children's Hospital, they told Farrell that this is serious disease and Ray could, could pass away if we didn't get her up there in time. And of course my son, he, Farrell, he, he lost it. <sighs> When they said that uh, that she probably wouldn't get to live very long, that's when it hit home to me because uh, they said it was going to take her out. They said, we need you up here at Children's like yesterday. And I'm like, oh, wow. And there were several doctors who were uh, uh, for Reagan, and uh, they explained about the disease and about how important it is to Reagan to have the transplant. The stem cell, it is, now it is healing. If it wasn't for Reagan getting her umbilical cord stem cell transplant, well, actually, she wouldn't have made it. Well, we just like Rocky Yank. And that, that's what's so remarkable about Reagan is, is that she seems to amaze them every time we go back to the Children's Hospital. They are so, so impressed on how far she has come. Good work. Take it mm -hmm. What well, she does with the iPad, she amazes us. <laughs> she has figured all that stuff out herself. She, she's real strong in her arms. She can walk across the carpet floor in a walker. Not, not a wood floor, a carpet floor. Yeah, you got your baby. I hope I get to live a long time to take care of her, you know? <laughs> Every day I wake up, I look at her. How her, How is her day going to be? That's the reason I want to make her life as uh, happy as possible. Reagan's going to succeed, you know, she's going to be, she's going to, she's a little fighter. As of right now, today, if we didn't do this stem cell transplant, she may not be here with us right now, today. Give me a kiss, bye. Give me a kiss. I wish more places were doing stem cell, adult stem cells, because I think it could cure a lot of things. Because I, I've seen what it's done for my daughter. Yeah.